So now we are going to study about job analysis. Uh, jobs basically and how do we do job analysis. So these are the learning outcomes of this chapter. So we will uh, talk about workflow, workflow analysis, then how do we do re-engineering and also we will define job design, what are the different techniques of doing job design and uh, the job analysis process and some aspects of the job analysis process. So let's look at the definition. We have an example here which is uh, talking about jobs and job analysis. Next, uh, let us look at the definitions of work and job. So work means anything which is done to achieve some results and jobs is a group of tasks, duties, responsibilities that, uh, cons that makes up the total assignment. So for example, the job of a sales manager or the job of a HR executive. These are the jobs. So it is a workflow analysis. It means that studying the way the jobs are done and then uh, studying about uh, the jobs and then uh, writing down about the jobs. So in this uh, place we can see the different approaches which are taken by the organizations to deal with the jobs. So over here we can see that uh, there are different approaches that are taken by the organizations to deal with the jobs. For example, they do workflow analysis and business process re-engineering. Then they do job analysis and redesign, job design and redesign. They work with teams, they have alternative scheduling options, they do job analysis and they also work with job descriptions and specifications. All of these have certain goals and uh, the goals are mentioned over here. So from here you can see that uh, depending on the goals, the organizations will use the specific approaches. For example, if it, is, uh, uh, if it requires a group input, then the organization will, uh, will use a team approach if it requires improving the jobs uh, for flexibility then they will use alternative uh, scheduling options based on the type of goal the organizations will deal with the jobs using the particular technique. So we will uh, talk about these techniques uh, in short uh, for now. So for example workflow, uh, the organizations follow a certain workflow for uh, tasks. So organizations might uh, have to change the workflow depending on the type of technology that is being used from time to time. And then organizations do some business process re-engineering depending on the job that it is that is being done. So this type of re-engineering is done to increase the organization's performance. The organizations uh, design the job and then again from time to time they redesign the job. So the redesigning might be done to increase the performance of the employees or to increase uh, the job satisfaction of the employees. For example, if the employees are doing a repetitive job, then the company might think of redesigning the job to make the job more interesting. So there are uh, various ways by which the job design can be changed and uh, some of these are mentioned
question to her here. So, for example, job enlargement and enrichment. So, enlargement means increasing the scope of the job, and enrichment means changing the scope of the job and making it more uh, fulfilling. So, this one shows us that what sort of things are linked with the job and what things might be change in order to do the job redesigning. So if you look at all these points you will understand that these are used for making the job different for redesigning the job from time to time. So over here uh, you can see the different uh, things that are um, changed or looked at during the job design process. So you have the definitions like what is job rotation and job enrichment. So <coughs> the jobs are uh, classified or described in terms of certain characteristics. And these include uh, the skills variety that are needed in order to do the job. So a specific job might be different types of skills in order to accomplish that and that thing is known as skill variety. Then we have task identity. So the task identity means uh, whether the job that the person is doing, uh, whether the person is able to identify in whole or partially with the job. And task significance is another type of uh, job characteristics. So there are various types of job characteristics and these uh, affect uh, different aspects of the job like psychological states uh, which include uh, meaningfulness, responsibility, then uh, the knowledge of the results. And all this will affect the desired outcomes of the job, the person who is doing the job. in jobs, what sort of um, Let us first see the definition of job and work and then we will look at job analysis. So uh, work means uh, effort that is directed towards accomplishing something and jobs is a group of tasks. So we discuss these things now. We also talked about uh, technology and work, business process re-engineering. So these are the different uh, things related to job analysis, jobs and jobs and then job analysis. So when the jobs are designed or redesigned, the person job fit is a very crucial thing that is being focused on. So it is matching the characteristics of the people with the characteristics of jobs. So there are various types of jobs, uh, not all jobs are suitable for everyone. So depending on the type of job, the person should fit. So in the job description and specification, we have the uh, characteristics that are part of the person's job required. So 
when the organizations or for the person job fit, they will actually focus on this part. So there are certain approaches to job design, like job enlargement, job enrichment, and also job rotation. Job rotation means shifting the job of a person from one uh, task, one thing to another thing. That is shifting a person from one job to another job. So there are certain characteristics of jobs which are used to define the job. According to the model of Heckman and Oldham, there are five characteristics of jobs. And these are skill variety, task identity, and task significance. Then you have autonomy feedback. So this diagram shows us the job characteristics according to this model and the psychological states which are being affected by these job characteristics and the desired outcome. Uh, you will see what do they mean. For example, the skill variety means the type of uh, skills that are required in order to be successful in the job. Task identity means how much a person can actually relate with the job. Then we have task significance, so how much significant is the job for the person and for other people. Then we have autonomy, that means how much freedom the person has to think about the job and then having feedbacks about the job. So uh, the next part is going to talk about using teams in jobs. So the jobs usually require teams and if there is a team to work with, then the work pattern will also change. So there are different types of teams like self purpose, special purpose team, self-directed teams, virtual teams and so on. So look at the definitions here. Special purpose means uh, creating a team which is uh, done for some specific purpose. Then we have self-directed team. So teams which are uh, working on their own. And then we have virtual teams, so teams which are working in, uh, virtually, not making face-to-face, -face, like we are having the classes now. So there are advantages and disadvantages of team. Uh, this diagram identifies certain factors which uh, helps the teams in their being effective. So technology and training and also management of the team. scheduling and locations, jobs. So we will uh, talk about it now uh, after this session. <coughs> 